Good morning and welcome to the 2021 Dallas ISD Math Olympiad powered by Dimension U. My name is Stephen Hoy, CEO of Dimension U. We have six competitions today, one for each grade level, starting with grade three, going through grade eight. We'll be starting in just a few minutes. Thank you for joining us today. Good luck to all the students.
spectators to the Dallas Math Olympiad Grade 3 competition. We are about to start. All of our students are in their game room and ready to play. So on my count, we will begin. This will be a 10-minute round in our Tower Storm game. Here we go. Um, one sec. We have one student. Oh. Altoff, did you have some trouble getting, and you, did you leave the game? You're in now? All right. All right. Awesome. So, three, two, one. Starting the match now. Good luck, students. Good luck. Here we go. All right. We'll see who is going to make it on the leaderboard first. All right. So, we have our DU eSports cameras in the room in addition to our players. And just waiting for our first score. All right. Let's see. Alex on the board first with 25. Natalia on the board second with 25. And Randy on the board third with 25. And now we've got Altaf on with 25. That's great. So we've got Soto Elementary, Hotchkiss Elementary represented, and uh, TL Marcel Steam Academy represented. All right. Now there goes Alexander up to 75, followed by Alma from Soto with 50 points oh, and this is close now. Look at it that. is now we've got a tie up there in first place with alex and randy uh randy's from tl marsala steam academy and everybody's on the board leslie's on there from miller elementary and let's see who else am i uh we've got now altov from Hotchkiss Elementary on top with 150 points. Oh, no, Alexander just took the 150-point spot. Altov has 125. Um, Alma jumped into a tying in first place. Uh, Alma from Soto. And Alexander and Alma in the top two spots with Alto from Hotchkiss Elementary with 125. Natalia from Marsala Steen. Randy. And it keeps changing. It's hard to keep track of. <laughs> um, so, Altaf now in the lead with 200 points from Hotchkiss Elementary. Look at that game screen. Look at the leaderboard in the back. That sound, that looks awesome. Alma just jumped into the lead from Soto Elementary with 225 points. All right. We've got Randy from TL Marsalis with 75. Natalia from... T.L. Marcellus with 150, tied with Alex from Hotchkiss for 150, Alma with 225, and Leslie up there in second place from Miller Elementary. Now in third place because Alma just jumped back up into first place with 325, Altaf with 300, Leslie with 275, Natalia with 250, Randy. Oh, I'm sorry, Alexander with 175 and Randy with 100. It's still anybody's game. We have seven minutes and 18 seconds remaining. Um, the time that you're seeing on the live stream shows a little bit more time because there is a 10 second dis uh, delay on the live stream. And let's see. Oh, look at that out top. Wow. 500 points up at the top uh, from Hotchkiss Elementary. Alma in second place with 425 from Soto Elementary. Leslie in third place with 375 from Miller Elementary. Great job, everybody. This is really an awesome competition. There is still six minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Lots of time for anybody to take that top spot. And Natalia up at the top of the leaderboard now from TL Marsalis with 600, I'm sorry, 550, but Altoff just took it back. The lead position uh, with 600 points. Leslie hanging in there at third from 475, Alma at 425, Alex with 300, Randy with 150. Everybody's doing a great job. All right, let's see. Let's see who what the next change is going to be. We have about coming down to about the six minute mark, just a little bit over six minutes remaining. And let's see. I saw a lot of jetpack action a minute ago, too. That is Leslie just jumped up into second place.
Uh, let's see, Leslie is from Miller Elementary with 575. Natalia just went jumped back into second place with 650. Altoff just jumped with 900 points into first place. Altoff is from Hotchkiss. We have uh, Natalia again from Marsala Steam. Leslie, who is from Miller Elementary. Alma, who is from Soto Elementary. Alex, uh, Alexander, who is from Hotchkiss. And Randy, who is from Marsala Steam as well. All right. So we have a range from 900 points at the top to 225. Um, Natalia still in second, Alma still in third, Leslie, um, trying to get up there and to, uh, rise above and jump into that first place. We've got Altoff still hanging on. Wow. 1,200 points. Amazing job. Natalia, 650, Alma, 625, Alexander, 600, Leslie, 575, Randy, 300. All right. It's anybody's game. We are mm, we're a little bit under the halfway mark now with four minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Altoff still climbing at 1,400. Alma at 725. Alexander jumped up to 700 and is in third place now with Natalia now at 675. Leslie at 575 and Randy at 400. I love it. These points just keep getting higher. That means kids... Students are answering problems correctly. You're doing a great job, everybody. All right, four minutes, a uh, little over four minutes remaining. Uh, let's see, what just happened? Alma just jumped up into second, I think. Um, I'm sorry, Alexander in, in second place with 800. Altoff now at 1,500 points. Alma, uh, Alexander at 800. Alma at 725. Natalia at 675, Leslie at 600, and Randy at 500. Still, anybody's game. We are a little under the four-minute mark. And this is an exciting... And I, you guys are doing... Everybody is doing such a... It's really <laughs> starting the day off so strong here. This is awesome. All right, let's see. Um, we're now 1,600. Altoff, great job. Alma, 825. Alexander, 800, Natalia, 775, Leslie, 700, Randy, 600. What's really great is it seems that incrementally the points that you are adding are higher and higher each time. For spectators that are watching, as students answer correctly successively in a row, their incremental points that they earn is higher each time. So, this is really a clear demonstration that these students are doing an awesome job, every single one of them. All right, Altov at 1,600 still. Leslie at 925, tied with Alma at 925 for Ooh. second. Um, Alex tie. Oh, yeah, fourth we've got and fourth and fifth. Alexander at 800, Randy at 800, and Natalia at 775. Altov looks like he's going to be approaching the 2,000 mark. He's at 1,900 right now. Alma and Leslie both at 1025, Natalia 925, Alexander, Randy, well, Alexander 825, and Randy 800. Uh, this is certainly exciting. We are coming down to almost the two-minute mark. We're about two minutes and 14 seconds. Let's see how the things are going to change in those next, those final two minutes. All right, Alma has taken second place now at 1125, Leslie holding at 1025. Natalia at 925 jumped up into that fourth place position. Alexander at 825. Oh, Altov cracks the oh, 2000 barrier nice and job. is at 2100 points. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so we are now under the two minute mark. We are at about a minute and almost about a minute and 35 seconds. Um, Altov leading the pack. At 2100, Alma at 1225, Leslie at 1025, Natalia at 925, Alexander 875. Whoop, that just changed. Natalia and Randy are tied at 925, and Alexander at 875. All right, this is an awesome job. Woo! All right, 2300 for Altuff now. Great job as we approach the one minute mark. Alma at 1225, Leslie at 1025, Natalia 
at 950 and Randy at 925 with Alexander at 875. Okay, there's still a minute to go. And, um, well, we're now down to under a minute, 40 seconds remaining. Altov has jumped in to, continues to hold the lead at 2,400. Alma at 1325, well, 1425, Leslie at 1075, and now Randy and Natalia are tied at a 1000, and Alexander's at 925. All right, we're into our final 20 seconds. Get those last questions, head over to the tower. Yes, answer those questions and get to the tower. 2500 for Altoff, awesome job. We're coming down to our six, five, Four, three, two, one, and our game is over. Woo! Nice job. All right, that is an awesome wow. job. Great so, job, everybody, that's great. All right, so hang on, everyone. Don't don't leave the room. Um, we had Altov at twenty five hundred points, uh, and the winner of today's third grade competition. In second place is Alma from Soto Elementary with 1425. Randy, um, let's see, Randy is from Marsalistein and he had 1100 points. We have Leslie from Miller Elementary with 1075. And tied with that score is Natalia at Marsalis. Elementary, and we have Alexander with 925 from Hotchkiss, and I think I forgot to mention that Altov is from Hotchkiss Elementary, so. Nice job. Nice job. Dimension U is eSports for education. Our innovative, curriculum-based, multiplayer video game platform helps students reinforce core academic skills for grades three through nine in just five minutes per day. Here are three big reasons to get your students in the game. Number one, Dimension U supports flexible learning models. Keeping students engaged and connected to the classroom is more important now than ever before. Dimension U makes it easy to keep students on track academically while enabling safe interaction with their peers online and promoting an inclusive learning environment. Whether your classroom is all virtual, in person, or a hybrid environment, Dimension U supports a flexible learning model and is accessible on the web and via our mobile apps. Number two, Dimension U provides academic accountability. Educators can use Dimension U to kickstart their daily math or English lessons with a quick curriculum-packed game for the entire class, and then let students practice on their own to help reinforce the day's instruction. Studies show that Dimension U helps improve academic performance when used regularly, and online teacher reports help document student learning. Number three. Dimension U encourages parental involvement. Parents now have an increased role in supporting their kids' learning. Today's parents grew up playing video games, and Dimension U is a perfect way for parents to interact with their kids while supporting them academically. Ready to get your students in the game? 
Just go to DimensionU.com to learn more or send an email to schools at DimensionU.com.
All right, let me welcome all of our spectators for our Dallas ISD Math Olympiad Grade 4 competition today. Our students are in the game room. They are ready to go. So without further ado, we are going to start on my countdown of three, two, one. I am starting the match. Good luck, students. Good luck. All right, let's see who jumps onto the leaderboard first. Uh, the game should be loading. And the timer has started. Oh, we have a score. All right, Melanie from McShan. 50 points on the leaderboard first. Jeremy in there now with 25. Neville with 25. All right, this is exciting. We're off to a great start. And I see others, juniors now on the leaderboard. Uh, Melanie holding that lead with 50 points. Angel on the leaderboard. All right. Melanie just jumped up to 100. Woohoo! That's awesome. Melanie from McShan Elementary. And Jeremy from, where's Jeremy from? Junkins Elementary, now with 75. Neville from McShan Elementary as well. Junior from Hotchkiss Elementary. Angel is from Miller Elementary. All right, let's see. What do we have now? Melanie still in the lead with 175. Jeremy at 75. Neville at 75. So tied for second. Mia now on the leaderboard. Mia is from um, Mata Montessori uh, with uh, 50 points. Junior just jumped up to 75 points. Angel at 25. Jaslyn with 25 points. Jaslyn from Anderson Elementary. All right. <clears throat> and... Uh, looks like Mason uh, went offline. Hopefully he will be able to get back into the game um, and resolve any uh, maybe technical difficulty he's having. Melanie up at 275 in the number one spot, followed closely by Jeremy at 250 and Mia at 200. This is an exciting game already, and we're only we're less than two minutes into the game, and it's already extremely exciting. So this is great job, fourth graders. Oh, there we go. Jeremy from Junkins jumps up into the top position with 350 points. Melanie at 275. Mia, 200. Neville with 150. Junior, 75. Angel, 75. Jaslyn with 25. And we are still hoping. Oh, I see Mason. He's back in the game. That's awesome. Okay, great. So, and there is still plenty of time. This is still anybody's game to win. There are three top um, winners that would be announced at the 2 p.m. Uh, awards ceremony. Okay, now Jeremy up at 450. Wow, that is a great job. Melanie at 300 with sec in second place. Mia in third place with 275. Everybody is on the board right now, and it's just a matter of where it will end up by the time we get down to the final uh, last minute, last few seconds. All right, Jeremy now up at 550, but everybody is pushing towards the top position. Mia has just taken second place with 475. Let's see, Mia from Mata Montessori. Okay, and um, oh, Jeremy at 650, Melanie at 400, Mia at 475, Neville at 375, Jaslyn at 100, Angel and Junior both at 75, and Mason at 25. Okay. So everybody is doing a super job, and there is still quite a bit of time remaining in this match. We have 6 minutes and 35 seconds remaining. All right, let's see. Jaslyn at 100, Angel now at 150, and Mia jumps up into second place at 575, tied with Neville in second place at 575. So Mia again is from Mata. Uh, Montessori, Neville is from McShan, and Jeremy up there in first place is from Junkins Elementary. All right, Jaslyn and Junior now both tied at 100 points, Mason at 50 points, and Angel just jumped up to 450 points. Fantastic job. Neville is now at the top of the leaderboard. Um, from McShan Elementary with 775, Jeremy at 725, Mia at 575, Melanie at 500, Angel at 450, 
Jazz Lynn at 125, Junior at 100, and Mason tied up with Junior at 100 as well. And we're not even halfway through this match. There is still plenty of time. Jeremy. Oh, back in the lead. Jeremy at 800 points. Neville at 775. Mia at 600. One of the really great things that we're seeing here, we saw this in the third grade competition as well, is those incremental points that students are earning that we're seeing, they're higher each time because they keep answering correctly successively, which is really key to winning um, the Tower Storm game. And so that is really a great job. That means students are really solving math problems well and answering consistently correctly. So great job, everybody. You are all doing a fantastic job. All right, let's see where we are. As you can see on the live stream, we have Jeremy that is at the top of the leaderboard at 825. Neville is at 775. Melanie at 625. Mia at 600. Angel now at 550, Junior at 300, Mason at 300, Jazlyn at 225. It's an amazing game. We are under the halfway mark now. We are at about four minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Again, still plenty of time. Anybody could still win this game. There is still lots and lots of time. All right. And these are really, we are just seeing Very great, close. yes. <laughs> Very close. We are seeing great scores. Everybody is doing such a great job. Oh, look at that. Melanie just jumped up into the lead with 925. That is Melanie from McShan. Jeremy, 875 from Junkins, followed by Neville, who is also from McShan Elementary with 800. Um, Angel just jumped up into fourth place with 650 points. So Angel from Miller Elementary, great job. Followed by Mia with 625. Mia's over there at Mata Montessori. Mason at 450. From Young Elementary, awesome job. Junior uh, with 400 at Hotchkiss Elementary. Um, Jazlyn from Anderson Elementary with 300. Wow, Melanie, you just cracked the 1,000 barrier. You are at 1025. You're doing an awesome job. Woohoo! That is fantastic. Um, Jeremy at 950. Neville 800. Mason 750. Angel 650. Oh, uh, Mia. At 625, Junior, 400, and Jazlyn at 300. Um, there is two and a half minutes remaining in this game. So, you know, I still like to say there is still plenty of time for this board to change significantly. Um, so everybody keep playing, keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a fantastic job. All right. All right, um, Jeremy is trying to get up into that first place position again. He is now at 1025 and has broken the 1000 barrier. Mason at 950 in third place. Great job there. Neville at 825, Angel at 750, Mia at 650, Junior uh, 425, Jazz Lynn is now at 400. Melanie has gone to 1150, but filed very closely by Jeremy at 1100. Whew. All right. Oh, no. There we go. Jeremy just pops up into the lead with 1200. Jeremy from Junkins. And Melanie uh, in second place from McShan Elementary. Oh, now we have a tie for first place. Oh, nope. Jeremy just took that lead back with 1300. Uh, we have a minute and a half. Look, our top four scores are so close. We have Jeremy at 1,300, Melanie at 1,200, Mason at 1,050, and Neville tied for third at 1,050. Wow. This is awesome. Angel uh, at 850, Mia 750, Jazlyn doing a great job at 575, Junior at 425, and let's see. Okay, so Jeremy just pulled out his lead a little bit. He's at 1,400, but Melanie and Mason are right there behind. Oh, Neville jumps up to 1,450, wow. takes the lead from McShan Elementary there at 1,450. Oh, Jeremy just took that back. He's right. at 1,500. We are under a minute. Awesome. Uh, so we have Jeremy at 1,500, Neville at 1,450, Melanie at 1,275, but Mason now in the lead with 1550, Jeremy at 1500, Neville at 1450, Melanie at 1300, 
Jeremy now just took the lead again at 1600. We have about 25 seconds remaining. I wonder if we'll see the 2000 barrier cracked. There is still time. Make sure you solve those problems and get those fuel cells over to the tower. So 1700, Jeremy, Mason, 1550, Neville, 1450. We are down to our eight second mark. I will start a countdown at five, four, three, two, one. Match Ooh, over. Nice job, everybody. Fantastic job. Okay, so if everyone would just hang on, don't leave the game room, stay right there. We will talk to you in a moment. Um, spectators, thank you all for joining our live stream. Um, I hope you enjoyed the event. Stay tuned. We have our fifth grade competition coming up right out after this. So I hope you will stay tuned for that. We have a brief intermission while we get ready for the fifth grade competition. All right, fourth graders, stay in your room right there. Dimension U is eSports for education. Our innovative, curriculum-based, multiplayer video game platform helps students reinforce core academic skills for grades three through nine in just five minutes per day. Here are three big reasons to get your students in the game. Number one, Dimension U supports flexible learning models. Keeping students engaged and connected to the classroom is more important now than ever before. Dimension U makes it easy to keep students on track academically while enabling safe interaction with their peers online and promoting an inclusive learning environment. Whether your classroom is all virtual, in-person, or a hybrid environment, Dimension U supports a flexible learning model and is accessible on the web and via our mobile apps. Number two, Dimension U provides academic accountability. Educators can use Dimension U to kickstart their daily math or English lessons with a quick curriculum packed game for the entire class and then let students practice on their own to help reinforce the day's instruction. Studies show that Dimension U helps improve academic performance when used regularly and online teacher reports help document student learning. Number three. Dimension U encourages parental involvement. Parents now have an increased role in supporting their kids' learning. Today's parents grew up playing video games, and Dimension U is a perfect way for parents to interact with their kids while supporting them academically. Ready to get your students in the game? Just go to DimensionU.com to learn more or send an email to schools at DimensionU.com.
Okay, welcome back to the fifth grade Dallas ISD Math Olympiad event. Spectators, friends, families, educators, as you watch, um, we have had a great event so far with our third graders and fourth graders, and we are about to start our fifth grade competition. All of the students are in the room and ready to go. So without further ado, we will start this match going three, two, one, starting now. All right, students. Uh, let's see who will jump onto the leaderboard first. This promises to be a very exciting match. Um, today, four parents and spectators who are watching, just so that you know what students will be playing from a um, math curriculum standpoint, we are focused on estimating with decimals, estimating with fractions, greatest common factors, least common multiplies, multiplication. So it should be a great event. And we already have students on the leaderboard. Emmanuel leading the pack at 25. Moises with 25 as well. Abdul, Saul, um, Moises uh, jumped up to the top. We've got, hey, uh, Diana. Yes, thank Emmanuel. you. Diana, Emmanuel. So almost everybody is on the leaderboard and we are moving along Alexis. we basically have a uh like a seven-way tie right now <laughs> um great we job are one minute into the game now so plenty of time moises takes the lead with 75 um from miller elementary followed by saul diana alexis and I just see Abdul. Abdul. Gosh, the, the scores keep changing. All right, so Moises at 75, Diana with 25, Abdul with 25. Now Moises with 150. All right, Diana with 25. Diana now has 125. Uh, is in second place, Emmanuel from Mata Montessori is in third place with 50, tied with Abdul. Um, from McShane Elementary with 50, Brianna at 25, Saul with 25, Alexis at 25. All right, let's see what's happening now. We have about, we are, we are almost at the eight minute mark. So we're two minutes into the game. This is really an exciting, uh, for those of you watching, it's really what you're looking at is you're seeing the students. They are going up to what we call a question terminal in the game room. They are getting a, a question. They're answering that. And then depending upon the travel power they get, they need to carry these fuel cells over to this tower called the Tower of Rings. And uh, Moise is now up at the top position with 250 points, followed by Diana at 125 and Emmanuel at 100. Jesus with 75, Abdul with 50, Alexis with 50, Brianna 25, and Saul with 25. Everybody's on the leaderboard. Anybody can still win this game because there is we still have seven minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Now, Moises takes a little bit of a larger lead with 350. And um, this is certainly an exciting event. I love seeing everybody moving back and forth and some people flying and super jumping. Uh, this is really great. And it's really close. And it's really close. So <laughs> we've got Moises at 350, Diana at 125, tied with Emmanuel at 125 as well. As well. Um, Jesus uh, with 75 and Alexis with 75, Abdul with 75, Saul and Brianna both with 25. All right, Moises now up at 450. Let's just review. So we have Moises from Miller Elementary, Diana, who's from Anderson Elementary, Emmanuel from Mata Montessori, Jesus from Jerry Junkins Elementary, Alexis, who's from Mount Auburn Steam Academy, Abdul, who is from McShane Elementary, um, Saul, who is joining us from Hotchkiss Elementary, Brianna from La Lago Elementary. Great job, everyone. Wow. Let's see. Oh, Alexis looks like um, went offline. Hopefully, she'll be able to get back in. And Her points will still be there, so yes. don't worry about that. Points will still be there. Don't don't worry. That's right. Uh, thank you, Miss Bishop. Uh, Miss uh, Moises up at nine fifty now. Wow, that is really excellent. In second place is Emmanuel from Mata Montessori with three twenty five. Saul is now up at third place um, with one seventy five, followed by Diana 
and Abdul, who are both tied for fourth place at 150, Jesus at 125, and Brianna at 25. All right, we are not even at the halfway mark. Um, we are approaching. All right, Alexis, I'm so happy that you're back. Um, remember, your points are all still intact. I'm sorry that you left us for a few seconds, but everything is still there, so keep playing. We are um, almost at the halfway point, but we're not even halfway over, so there is plenty of time left in this game. All right, Moises up there at 950, Emmanuel 425, Jesus now in third place with 275, Abdul in a firm fourth place position now at 225, and things just keep changing. We've got now Moises at 975, Emmanuel at 525, Alexis is in third place now at 275, tied with Jesus at 275, followed very closely by Abdul at 225. Saul and Diana both tied at 200. All right, we are under the halfway mark now. We are at about four minutes and 30 seconds remaining. There is still lots of time, and this is still anyone's game. All right, so, oh, and Moises, finally, he just broke the 1,000-point barrier. Now at 1075, great job. And, you know, one of the key ways to do that for spectators who are watching is to solve problems um, consecutively correctly because each time you do that, you incrementally earn additional points. And so great job. We are seeing some really great scores. Everybody is doing a fantastic job. Um, again, let's recap. We are Moises in the lead at 1075 from Miller Elementary, followed by, oh, I'm sorry, now at 1150, Emmanuel from Mata Montessori in second place with 825. He is really creeping up to that lead position, and I know um, really trying to make progress up there. Alexis, um, who had to drop out for a second, um, back in now in third place. Great job at 475. Saul at 400 from Hotchkiss Elementary. Abdul, 350. Um, everybody, spectators, it is Abdul's birthday today, so happy birthday, Abdul. He is 350, 350 points. Um, Diana at 200 points, and Brianna at 50 points. Everybody, great job. We are now at the three-minute mark, so you have three minutes remaining. Uh, Moises uh, continues to uh, accelerate in his lead at 12.50. Emmanuel, 825. Whoops, um, just slipped offline. Hopefully he will be able to jump back in. Um, Jesus, now at 525. Saul, 475. Tied with Alexis at 475. Abdul at 350. Diana, 225. And Brianna at 50. All right, we're coming down now to the two and a half minute mark. Emmanuel, back in the game. So glad you're back. You are still in second place with 825. Moises, is now at 1650 and quite possibly might break that 2000 point barrier. All right. So the leaderboard as it stands right now, as you can see, we have Moises from, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Miller Elementary at 1650, Emmanuel from Mata Montessori at 850, followed very closely by Saul. From Hotchkiss at 7.50, Jesus at 525 from Junkins Elementary, Alexis at 500 from Mount Auburn, uh, Auburn Steam Academy, um, Abdul at 375 uh, from McShan, and Diana from Anderson Elementary with 225 from Brianna, now at 75 from Lago Elementary. All right. Uh, seven, 90 seconds. So 90 close. seconds, yes. Oh my gosh. Um, I do want to mention I love all the avatar customizations that have been done. Um, they look great. I love the individuality. Uh, Moises at, oh, just broke the 2000 barrier at 2050. That's awesome. Emmanuel, you are now at 975. I'm sure you know that. Great job, second place. Third place is Saul at 850. We are at one minute remaining now. Okay, so under a minute, make sure you answer those questions and carry those fuel cells over to the tower as quickly as you can. And we will see where we end up. So down to about 40 seconds. Moises, 2050. Emmanuel, 1075. Over the thousand mark. Awesome. 
Saul at 875, Alexis 625, Jesus at 550, Abdul 425, Diana 275, Brianna 75. All right, 30 seconds remaining. Moises in the lead at 2250, Emmanuel at 1175, Saul at 875. Those are our top three positions currently. Uh, we are coming down to the 10 second mark. I would encourage no one to give up as we approach the end because those last minute points can make all the difference in the world. Moisey, 2350, uh, 1275, Emmanuel, Saul at 875. Match over. Yeah. Great job. Good job, good job. All right. All right. So thank you to our spectators for watching. We had Moisey. Hernandez, oh, I'm sorry, Moisey from Miller Elementary in the lead uh, in, in a first place. Emmanuel from Mata Montessori in second place. Saul uh, with 900 points from Hotchkiss Elementary. So, students, if you would please stay online. We're going to say goodbye to our spectators for a moment as we take an intermission and prepare for our sixth grade competition. Thank you. We hope to see you back here. We'll be commentating on that shortly. Thanks very much. Dimension U is eSports for education. Our innovative, curriculum-based, multiplayer video game platform helps students reinforce core academic skills for grades 3 through 9 in just 5 minutes per day. Here are three big reasons to get your students in the game. Number one, Dimension U supports flexible learning models. Keeping students engaged and connected to the classroom is more important now than ever before. Dimension U makes it easy to keep students on track academically while enabling safe interaction with their peers online and promoting an inclusive learning environment. Whether your classroom is all virtual, in person, or a hybrid environment, Dimension U supports a flexible learning model and is accessible on the web and via our mobile apps. Number two, Dimension U provides academic accountability. Educators can use Dimension U to kickstart their daily math or English lessons with a quick curriculum-packed game for the entire class and then let students practice on their own to help reinforce the day's instruction. Studies show that Dimension U helps improve academic performance when used regularly and online teacher reports help document student learning. Number three. Dimension U encourages parental involvement. Parents now have an increased role in supporting their kids' learning. Today's parents grew up playing video games, and Dimension U is a perfect way for parents to interact with their kids while supporting them academically. Ready to get your students in the game? Just go to DimensionU.com to learn more or send an email to schools at DimensionU.com.
Dimension U is eSports for education. Our innovative, curriculum-based, multiplayer video game platform helps students reinforce core academic skills for grades three through nine in just five minutes per day. Here are three big reasons to get your students in the game. Number one, Dimension U supports flexible learning models. Keeping students engaged and connected to the classroom is more important now than ever before. Dimension U makes it easy to keep students on track academically while enabling safe interaction with their peers online and promoting an inclusive learning environment. Whether your classroom is all virtual, in-person, or a hybrid environment, Dimension U supports a flexible learning model and is accessible on the web and via our mobile apps. Number two, Dimension U provides academic accountability. Educators can use Dimension U to kickstart their daily math or English lessons with a quick curriculum-packed game for the entire class, and then let students practice on their own to help reinforce the day's instruction. Studies show that Dimension U helps improve academic performance when used regularly, and online teacher reports help document student learning. Number three. Dimension U encourages parental involvement. Parents now have an increased role in supporting their kids' learning. Today's parents grew up playing video games, and Dimension U is a perfect way for parents to interact with their kids while supporting them academically. Ready to get your students in the game? Just go to DimensionU.com to learn more or send an email to schools at DimensionU.com.
Welcome back to the Dallas ISD Math Olympiad. We are about to start the sixth grade competition. My name is Stephen Hoy with Dimension U. I'll be commentating throughout the event. Our sixth grade students are all ready to go, and we are about to start in three, two, one. Here we go. Students are off. And let's see who jumps on the leaderboard first for grade six. We have students participating today from Mata Mas <clears throat> excuse me, Mata Montessori, Kennedy Curry, Solar Prep for Girls, Sudi Tag Academy, TW Brown. All right. And with 10 minutes on the clock, we have Nicholas from Sudi Tag Academy on the board first with 25 points. All right, <clears throat> way to kick things off, Nicholas. And Abigail, now on the board from Solar Prep for Girls. And Annika, Anika, apologies if I said that incorrectly. Helen is on the board. All right. We have a four-way tie right now. Yes, four-way tie with everybody in first place. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are down to the one minute, I mean, to the uh, nine minute mark now. There is still nine minutes remaining in the game. We are, uh, Abigail from Solar Prep has taken the lead. Nicholas just took that lead back with 125. Abigail's at 75. Anika's at 25. Helen's at 25. Jaquavian's at 25. All right, and about eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining. For those that are watching the event, today's sixth grade students are playing a variety of different topics from math. Oh, we now have a two-way tie. Nicholas and Jaquavian are tied at 125. In terms of our curriculum being played today, students will be served up questions that they are solving in the areas of cross multiplication, estimating to check results, fractions with unlike denominators, mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Okay, let's check the leaderboard. At the eight minute mark, Jaquavian in the lead with 275. Nicholas um, following at 125. Abigail at 75. Todd with Anika at 75. Helen and Michelle both at 25. And at the 745 mark for grade six. Competition is going really well. Scores are rising. Students are doing the math. That sounds great. Abigail just jumped up to 100 points, is in third place now. Nicholas is at 150. Jaquavian still holding steady in first at 275. And seven minutes and 20 seconds left to play. I love that game screen that you're sitting up on the board with the students moving back and forth. Parents, um, spectators, as you're watching, Students are going to a question terminal and they are receiving a question. And once they do that, they solve that there. They're given a travel power and a fuel cell element that they need to carry over to what we call the Tower of Rings in this game called Tower Storm. The more questions that they answer correctly, successively, or right in an order, they earn incrementally more points. So as you see students jump up, with more points, you will know that those students are answering successively correctly. So Jaquavian still in the lead at 275 from Kennedy Curry. Abigail now in second place with 225 from Solar Prep. Nicholas in third with 150 from Sudi Tag. All right. And we've got uh, Anika and Michelle tied right now at 75. Uh, Helen just jumped up into fourth place. Helen is from... T.W. Brown with 100 points. And everybody is on the leaderboard right now. Jaquavian has jumped his lead up a little bit to 325. Abigail is closing in on him at 225. Nicholas still there in third at 150, followed by Helen from T.W. Brown at 100. So, and we are now down to the 5 minute 40 second mark. We are almost at the halfway mark, not quite there. So there is still plenty of time for anybody to win this match. So let's see. Jaquavian still rising at 425. 
Great job from Kennedy Curry. Abigail from Solar Prep at 275. Helen now in third place from TW Brown. Nicholas in fourth from Sudi Tag Academy. Uh, Anika from Mata Montessori at 75. Michelle again tied with, um, with her at 75 points. Giselle and and Alondra at 25 points each. Um, okay, so, oh, we have crossed the halfway point. There is still plenty of time. We are looking for the first participant to break the 1,000 barrier. Um, that may happen. We had that happen a couple times in um, some of our prior competitions today. We seem to have a very strong competition going on here. I see a lot of incremental incrementally more points being earned with each question um, being solved as students are moving back and forth. Helen has taken the lead with 675 points from T.W. Brown. Jaquavian in second with 425. Abigail, 325 in third place from Solar Prep. Awesome job, everybody. We are now down to the four-minute mark with Helen in the lead. Everybody's on the leaderboard. We've got Helen, Jaquavian, Abigail, Nicholas, Anika, Michelle, Alondra, and Giselle. All right. Yes, Jaquavian is now up to 500. I see Nicholas has bumped up to 225. Nicholas and Anika are now tied for 220 at 225. And Helen still holding the lead at 675, with Michelle at 75, Alondra at 50, and Giselle at 25. All right, three minutes and 20 seconds just about now remaining in the game. Again, there is still so much time in this game to earn points. Uh, I love all the variety of avatars that have been created and customized by all of the students. Take a look at those. Helen, now at 775, is really cranking, cranking, ratcheting it up there, uh, closing in on that 1,000 thousand point bar. And Jaquavian now at 600, Abigail at 350, Nicholas at 300, Anika at 225, um, Alondra now at 100, Michelle now at 100. Great job, everyone. We're at two, 244, two minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the sixth grade math olympiad competition for 2021 this is our first year going all virtual it's really everything has been going really well today and we hope the spectators at home that are watching are really enjoying seeing the visual that's being able to, to to be displayed i think this has allowed a lot more people to be able to participate and watch and view what's happening and going on with the math olympiad during the dallas isd stem expo okay we are closing in on the two-minute mark. Helen refuses to let go of her lead at 875. Jaquavian is trying to get back up there. He is at 600, followed by Abigail now at 400, and Anika at 375, Nicholas at 300, Alondra at 175, Michelle at 100, and Giselle at 25. All right, this is great representation for all of the schools that the students are from. We have, just a recap, we have Mata Montessori, Kennedy Curry Middle, Solar Prep, Sudi Tag, and T.W. Brown represented in today's competition for sixth graders. We have 90 two- 90 seconds. 90 seconds, oh my gosh, let's see where we are. Helen, still in the lead at 875. Um, at the minute 20 mark, don't give up. Keep going because those last points as you collect your, uh, as you solve your problems and bring over your fuel cells to the tower, can really make the difference in the last one minute remaining of the game. And let's see, Jaquavia now edging up at 650. Anika at 425, who is tied with Abigail now at 425. Nicholas at 325. Alondra now at 200. All right. It looks like Helen is closing in on that 1,000-point barrier. She is at 975, only 25 points to go, still with almost a little bit more than 30 seconds remaining in the game. Still, anybody's game, 
Helen 975, Jaquavian 650, Anika at 575 has pulled that lead up a little bit more, uh, is firmly in third place, followed by Abigail at 425, and Nicholas at 350, Melandra at 250, and Michelle at 100. All right, final 10 seconds here. Uh, looks like Giselle has, has um, uh, gone offline, hopefully um, not having some technical difficulty, and we'll be able to get back into the game. Helen just broke the 1,000-point nice. barrier. Oh. 11.75, and now Jaquavia and Anika are tied at 6.50. The match is ended. All right. Great job, all sixth graders, participants. Great job. We really, that was a fantastic competition. Um, so our winner for the sixth grade competition is Helen from T.W. Brown. And great job. Um, students, if you would please remain in the game room. Um, we're going to go off camera. Um, then let me just follow up with second place. There was a tie with Jaquavian, who was from Kennedy Curry. Uh, Anika, Mata Montessori. Um, great job. And then Abigail from Solar Prep. So, spectators, Thank you all for joining us. Stay tuned. We still have two more exciting competitions coming up, the 7th and the 8th grade, which will begin shortly. And we will see you soon. Students, remain where you are. We're going to chat with you for a minute. Dimension U is eSports for education. Our innovative, curriculum-based, multiplayer video game platform helps students reinforce core academic skills for grades three through nine in just five minutes per day. Here are three big reasons to get your students in the game. Number one, Dimension U supports flexible learning models. Keeping students engaged and connected to the classroom is more important now than ever before. Dimension U makes it easy to keep students on track academically while enabling safe interaction with their peers online and promoting an inclusive learning environment. Whether your classroom is all virtual, in-person, or a hybrid environment, Dimension U supports a flexible learning model and is accessible on the web and via our mobile apps. Number two, Dimension U provides academic accountability. Educators can use Dimension U to kickstart their daily math or English lessons with a quick curriculum packed game for the entire class and then let students practice on their own to help reinforce the day's instruction. Studies show that Dimension U helps improve academic performance when used regularly and online teacher reports help document student learning. Number three. Dimension U encourages parental involvement. Parents now have an increased role in supporting their kids' learning. Today's parents grew up playing video games, and Dimension U is a perfect way for parents to interact with their kids while supporting them academically. Ready to get your students in the game? Just go to DimensionU.com to learn more or send an email to schools at DimensionU.com.
All right, welcome back to our grade seven competition as part of the Dallas ISD Math Olympiad for 2021. We're excited to get started. We have had a really great day so far with our third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade competition. And we are starting our seventh grade competition in just a moment. So without further ado, the seventh graders are ready to go. We are gonna start in three, two, one, start. Good luck, everybody. Here yes. we go. Good luck, everyone. And for parents and spectators who are watching, as we wait for our students to start scoring points, um, the game that students are playing today is called Tower Storm from Dimension U. And the objective of the game is that students have a question terminal that they go to and they have problems that they need to answer and solve. Each question that they answer, they receive a travel power alongside with what we call a fuel cell. So you can see some of that action now happening with the students um, running to get a question. They carry that fuel cell with their travel power. So it, in some cases, students receive a jet pack. In other cases, it might be a super speed or a super jump. They need to carry the fuel cell that they receive after answering the question over to the Tower of Rings off in the distance. From there, they need to throw their fuel cell up at the Tower of Rings in order to try to collapse rings on the tower of the same color. Now, if they have solved the, the question correctly, they will be awarded points. You students earn incrementally more points as they continue to answer correctly successively. So each time you answer correctly, your point that you are awarded goes up. So you are rewarded for continuing to answer correctly successively. There are also some additional bonus um, options in the game as well. Students, much like uh, video games that students play today, there are also power-ups that they can use as part of the games. Sometimes they might have a freeze trap, they have an invisibility cloak, different things like that. So the game is well underway. We have Cindy from T.W. Brown in the lead right now with 400 points, which is just awesome, doing a great job. Michaela is at 25 points, and we are looking at Samantha and Allison as they are working to get onto the leaderboard. The questions are tough. So what seventh graders are playing today is in the areas of math is they are focused on properties of addition, properties of multiplication, rational numbers, and solving problems involving percent. Okay, so let us see where we are right now. We are at seven minutes um, and 13 seconds remaining of our 10 minute game. Cindy continues to be in the lead with 500 points, Michaela at 50 points, and we have two schools represented today. We have T.W. Brown, and Sudi Tag Academy. So we have Samantha from Sudi Tag, and uh, our other players are all from T.W. Brown. Seventh grade again. This is our seventh grade competition that's happening right now. And speaking of seven, Cindy's now at seven hundred points, which is fantastic. <laughs> Great job. All right. So we are approaching our seven minute mark. Something that's important to understand that. Right now, even uh, where we are like at the point discrepancy, there is still plenty of time for anybody to win this game. So we have Cindy at 800, Michaela at 100, um, working on Samantha and Allison. Jumping onto the board, we have six minutes and 42 seconds remaining. I'm sorry, we're down to, we're closer down to the six minute mark. So we're almost right down at six minutes. And we are excited. After this, we will have our eighth grade competition. Um, and don't forget that Dallas ISD will have an award ceremony online at 2 p.m. Central Time today. So shortly after we finish up with our eighth grade competition, winners from the top three winners from each of our grade level competitions today will be announced. All right. Cindy is now up at the 900 threshold 
working towards breaking that thousand point barrier. Michaela at 275, doing great. We are almost at the halfway mark. We're about five minutes and 20 seconds remaining. With me, I have Mrs. Bishop, who is one of our Dimension U hosts um, today. And this is really an exciting competition. Um, it's really been a great day. Students have been having a wonderful time. Oh, there goes Cindy breaking the thousand point barrier. That was fast because we're only halfway through. I know. We just hit halfway mark. So that is really fantastic. All right. So let's see. Um, again, just a reminder, if you're just joining us, the content or curriculum that is being focused on in today's math competition is properties of addition, properties of multiplication, rational numbers, and solving um, problems in, in involving percent. So great job, seventh graders, as you continue to work on this. Um, Cindy is now at 1,100 points. Michaela at 275. We are down to uh, about the four minute and 15 second mark um, right now. One of the um, interesting things about um, Tower Storm, as you're watching players move back and forth, uh, one of the objectives is as students come up to the tower, there's different colored rings on the tower. If um, when you, when a student throws the fuel cell that they are carrying at the rings, if they answered correctly, it will change the color of the ring to match the color of the fuel cell. If they can achieve having at least three rings in a row change to be the same color and they solve their problem correctly, they will also earn some additional bonus points alongside of answering that question correctly. So that is another way for students to earn additional points. All right, Cindy looks like she is going to get close to the 2000 mark, if not break that. She, um, at, she, Cindy is now at 1,400 points, Michaela at 425. Michaela is working on getting to that 1,000-point barrier. Um, okay, and let's see. As I mentioned, also, um, as students earn points, those points are converted into what we call Dimension U tokens. Those tokens are able to be used to purchase power-ups and customization of avatars inside of the game world. So um, students are able to do those types of things and some of those power-ups that can assist them in the game, such as a freeze trap or an invisibility cloak, um, are uh, add to the excitement of the students playing the game. The games are, just for uh, folks information, are available on for both web play as well as mobile devices, iOS and Android so students can play across multiple platforms. Some of the other opportunities are to have team-based games where students can play collectively as a team competing against another group. And in past Dallas ISD math um, Olympiad competitions, when we uh, did that in person, uh, we have had groups and teams of students working together. All right, Cindy now at 1450, Michaela coming up to 725. Samantha and Allison both on the board now. So we have everybody on the board. We still have a minute and 40 seconds remaining in this game. There's still plenty of opportunity to get up to those high points. And so students, keep going. You're doing a great job. And I think this is really just an exciting thing to be part of the overall Dallas ISD STEM Expo event today. It's a really, really great program. All right, now Cindy is at 1575, Michaela at 825, Samantha at, at 150, just went up to 150, Allison at 25. Keep going, you're doing a great job. We are at the one minute mark now. Um, so keep playing, one minute remaining to earn those points. Get to the tower, answer those questions, get your fuel cell to the tower itself. Uh, I'm sorry, so get to the question terminals then get those fuel cells to the tower. All right, um, about 40 seconds. We are still sort of holding steady. 
Um, well, it looks like Samantha now has jumped up to 250. Michaela is at 825. Cindy at 1575 with 30 seconds remaining on the board. There's definitely time for another question. There definitely is time for another question. Maybe even two if you move quickly, particularly if you get that teleportation travel power. If the correct answer is green, um, I always love that. That's probably my favorite travel power of the of them all. So Cindy, 1575. Michaela, 850 now. Oh, Cindy just jumped up to 1600. Five, four, three, two, one. Game is Great over. Job. Great job, everybody. Um, Cindy from T.W. Brown has taken first place. Michaela from T.W. Brown and uh, second place. And Samantha from SUNY Tag Academy uh, has taken third place. Great job. Thank you to all of our spectators. Remember that Dallas ISD has their um, award ceremony at 2 p.m. Uh, Central Time in case you would like to watch that online. And we are going to pause before our eighth grade competition for an intermission. Students, if you would please stay online. Uh, we want to chat with you for just a minute. And we are going to take our break now from our live stream. Dimension U is eSports for education. Our innovative, curriculum-based, multiplayer video game platform helps students reinforce core academic skills for grades 3 through 9 in just 5 minutes per day. Here are three big reasons to get your students in the game. Number one, Dimension U supports flexible learning models. Keeping students engaged and connected to the classroom is more important now than ever before. Dimension U makes it easy to keep students on track academically while enabling safe interaction with their peers online and promoting an inclusive learning environment. Whether your classroom is all virtual, in-person, or a hybrid environment, Dimension U supports a flexible learning model and is accessible on the web and via our mobile apps. Number two, Dimension U provides academic accountability. Educators can use Dimension U to kickstart their daily math or English lessons with a quick curriculum-packed game for the entire class and then let students practice on their own to help reinforce the day's instruction. Studies show that Dimension U helps improve academic performance when used regularly and online teacher reports help document student learning. Number three. Dimension U encourages parental involvement. Parents now have an increased role in supporting their kids' learning. Today's parents grew up playing video games, and Dimension U is a perfect way for parents to interact with their kids while supporting them academically. Ready to get your students in the game? Just go to DimensionU.com to learn more or send an email to schools at DimensionU.com.
I would like to welcome everybody to our eighth grade math Olympiad competition for Dallas ISD for 2021. My name is Stephen Hoy with Dimension U. I'll be commentating on today's event. This is our final competition of the day. We have already done grades three through seven. And so eighth grade, we are looking to finish up here and we are going to start with a countdown. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good luck. Yes, good luck, everybody, as we begin to play. Um, I do want to let our spectators know that this is um, perhaps the toughest competition of the day um, based on the mathematics content that is contained in here. These are eighth graders. They are playing on our algebra level with specific skills focused in the area of adding and subtracting polynomials, linear equations, functions, and slope multiplication of polynomials, as well as solving multi-step inequalities. Now, players do have scratch paper available to them and may use calculators, but this curriculum is a difficult level of curriculum that they are playing on. So, let's all be supportive of our students that are participating. We do have representation today in our eighth grade competition from Ann Richards STEAM Academy as well as T.W. Brown. So, <clears throat> um, our game is underway. We have uh, each, the game that the students are playing is called Tower Storm. We are running the game for a 10 minute time period and we are currently at the eight minute 45 second mark. What you see on your screen is students come up to a gameplay terminal or a question terminal and they receive a question, a math problem that they need to solve from one of the math skill topic areas that I had just explained. Once they solve that, they receive a fuel cell alongside a travel power that they travel over to our Tower of Rings. And you see that tower of multicolored rings up there. The objective is they need to throw the fuel cell that they've carried at the tower and try to change the rings, the color of the rings <clears throat> um, to match the color that they were carrying. If students answered correctly, they will earn points for doing so. Each time a student continues to answer and solve problems correctly in a row, they will earn incrementally more points. That's one of the fastest ways to do that. All right, on our leaderboard right now, we have Jarvis from Ann Richards Steam Academy in first place who just earned 25 points. You may have seen him run over to the tower and earn those after he <clears throat> solved that problem. We have about seven and a half minutes remaining in this game. And let's see, we are, um, we have currently three players in our game room right now. We have Jarvis from Ann Richards Steam Academy, Navea from T.W. Brown, and Brianna from Ann Richards Steam Academy as well. We're currently at the seven minute mark, and you see students navigating back and forth between the um, question terminal and over at the tower. And right now, Jarvis is leading with a total score of 25 points. All right. And these questions will take a little longer to answer because, of course, this is eighth grade. So when you see students at the question terminal a little bit longer, they're working hard on these algebra problems. Yes. This is not easy content. And so they are all doing very well for just being here and participating today. Um, in addition to the Math Olympiad, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is about our... I I think it's been about our 10th year uh, doing math Olympiads with, in partnership with Dallas ISD. They started many years ago when Dallas ISD used to hold them at a high school and have students come and in a paper and pencil event um, through the years as they introduced their STEM Expo. Um, the math Olympiad then became part of um, the STEM Expo and uh, turned into a digital event that we're watching today. Um, all right. Jarvis is now up to 75 points, meaning um, 
The second time he went up there, he doubled his score, so that's great. That means that he answered correctly twice in a row. Great job, Jarvis. We are approaching the halfway mark in our game. So we're at 5 minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Um, still plenty of time for any of the players to take first place as they go back and forth and navigate um, between the question terminal and the Tower of Rings. Let's see. Again, we have Ann Richard Steam Academy and T.W. Brown School represented here. And our players are today Brianna, Jarvis, and Navia. So, great job, everybody. Keep going. And um, about halfway. just about halfway. Yes, actually, we're a little bit more than halfway through because we have four minutes and 35 seconds remaining. Um, you'll notice some of the things that when the student solves the problem, uh, they receive a travel power, and that could be in the form of a jetpack, a teleportation, a super speed, or a super jump. That helps the student go from the question terminal over to the Tower of Rings. They do not find out if they have solved the problem correctly until they have successfully delivered or thrown their fuel cell that they were carrying at the Tower of Rings. So once they have done that, that's when they find out their answers. So let's check in on our scores right now. You see up on our leaderboard, we have Jarvis still in the lead at 150. Brianna has now taken second place at 25 with 25 points. So great to see you on the leaderboard, Brianna. We are now down to about three minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this game. So keep going, students, because there is still a lot of points that can be earned between now and the end of the game. Uh, again, three minutes, a little bit less than three minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Other things, just so that, oh, Jarvis just jumped up to 250. Excellent job. Um, one other thing, in case you, uh, for those spectating, students can also acquire power-ups inside to use inside of the game room. So as they earn points by playing inside of the Dimension U games, they convert to what we call tokens or Dimension U tokens that they can use to acquire power-ups, such as an invisibility cloak or a boost pad um, or even a freeze trap that can potentially freeze another player when, drop, when dropped on the ground. So as in addition to that, they can also use those tokens that they've earned to customize and change up their avatars. So let's see. Um, all right, as we are having students go to the Tower of Rings, um, another thing to mention about the rings is that once you can create a color combination of three rings of, or more of the same color, students can earn bonus points, but only if they have solved the problem correctly. All right, let's check back. We are at approaching the two minute mark, two minutes, five seconds, with Jarvis still in the lead at 250, Brianna at 25, and the time is ticking down. All right, so now, yes, we are down below our two minute mark. Um, Brianna at 25 points, Jarvis at 250. Let's see where we will finish up today's game at. Keep going, because really, most, uh, we always see a lot of points end up being scored um, often in the very end, last sort of minute or two of the game. Again, these are difficult and challenging questions that students are having to answer today. So um, it's really awesome that they are spending their day doing math problems on a Saturday afternoon. Um, <laughs> That shows very good dedication. And there we go, Jarvis, up at 350 points now, um, still in the lead at the almost minute mark. So we are coming down to nearing the end of our eighth grade math Olympiad competition today. And yes, we are just under that. Let's see where we will go and how we will end up the day. For those of you who don't know, there are also two other games that Dimension U offers for students to play in, uh, amongst a myriad of other competitions that we provide access to 
our students throughout the year. So coming up in March is our March Math Madness competition that won't be a synchronous live event, but something that students can do on their own time, earn points when they have the time to do that, and then we have prizes awarded with that. We have 15 seconds remaining. Jarvis is in the lead with 450 points. And as we count down to the final, let's see if we get any few additional points that are being scored. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Nice All right. Nice Brianna job. sneaks in an extra 25 points right at the end there. Okay. So congratulations to Jarvis for being our first place winner. Congratulations and thank you for all the participants. Spectators, thank you for joining us today for the eighth grade math competition. We are going to sign off. We appreciate um, you being here. Students, stay online as we chat for a few minutes and close out the competition. Congratulations to all winners and students who participated today in the 2021 Dallas ISD Math Olympiad. Thank you to friends, families, and educators who tuned in to watch today and support. We also want to thank the Dallas ISD STEM department for making this event possible with a special shout out to Ms. Crystal Alexander. Manager of the STEM department, Mr. Daryl Brown, STEM coordinator for the secondary math, and Mr. Steve Sanchez, STEM math director. Have a great day, everyone. Stephen Hoy with Dimension U signing out. Dimension U is eSports for education. Our innovative, curriculum-based, multiplayer video game platform helps students reinforce core academic skills for grades three through nine in just five minutes per day. Here are three big reasons to get your students in the game. Number one, Dimension U supports flexible learning models. Keeping students engaged and connected to the classroom is more important now than ever before. Dimension U makes it easy to keep students on track academically while enabling safe interaction with their peers online and promoting an inclusive learning environment. Whether your classroom is all virtual, in-person, or a hybrid environment, Dimension U supports a flexible learning model and is accessible on the web and via our mobile apps. Number two, Dimension U provides academic accountability. Educators can use Dimension U to kickstart their daily math or English lessons with a quick curriculum packed game for the entire class and then let students practice on their own to help reinforce the day's instruction. Studies show that Dimension U helps improve academic performance when used regularly and online teacher reports help document student learning. Number three. Dimension U encourages parental involvement. Parents now have an increased role in supporting their kids' learning. 
Today's parents grew up playing video games, and Dimension U is a perfect way for parents to interact with their kids while supporting them academically. Ready to get your students in the game? Just go to DimensionU.com to learn more or send an email to schools at DimensionU.com.